Today's big story about the proposed European ban on the British sausage has caused a major political storm. Westminster sources say the sausage could be another banana skin. <laughs> it only adds to the government's problems with the succession. Senior people in the party are increasingly troubled by the fact that the two obvious candidates for the leadership represent the extreme wings of the party. Pressure is mounting for them to withdraw in favor of a compromise candidate. But none of the other contenders so far seems to have caught the public imagination. <laughs> now sport, Turn there are only two on. matches in the <laughs> Is that true? About the compromise candidate? I believe so. Where do they get their information from? I can't imagine, but... <laughs> anyway, I never said compromise. I said moderate. <laughs> Uh, incidentally, Minister, why are BBC Television and ITN covering your speech this evening? I can't imagine, Bernard. <laughs> I mean, I know that uh, fire and safety policy in government buildings is awfully important. <laughs> someone suggested that I was going to raise other issues as well. Who? I can't imagine, Bernard. <laughs> I am a good European. I believe in the European ideal. Never again shall we repeat the bloodshed of the two world wars. <laughs> Europe is here to stay. But this does not mean that we have to bow the knee to every directive from every little bureaucratic Bonaparte in Brussels. We are a sovereign nation still. We are British and proud of it. <laughs> we have made enough concessions to the European Commissar for Agriculture, and when I say Commissar, I use the word advisedly. We've swallowed the wine lake, we've swallowed the butter mountain, we've watched our French friends beating up British lorry drivers carrying good British lamb to the French public. We have bowed and scraped and doffed our caps, tugged our forelocks and turned the other cheek, but I say enough is enough. <laughs> the Europeans have gone too far. They are now threatening the British sausage. They want to stand it up, by which they mean they'll force the British people to eat salami and bratwurst and other garlic-ridden, greasy foods that are alien to the British way of life. Do you want to eat salami for breakfast with your egg and bacon? I don't, and I won't. They turned our pints into litres and our yards into metres. We gave up the tanner, the threepenny bit, the two bob piece, and the half crown, but they cannot and will not destroy the British sausage. <laughs> not while I'm here. In the words of Martin Luther, here I stand. I <laughs> 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 